Welcome to another Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides edition of Lego Channel 101. I will be reviewing today the Captain's Cabin. Very small set, retailing at $11. Very small. I will start off with my Captain Jack Sparrow trading card. Just regular Jack, you know, you get him in the sets. I showed you the Fountain of Youth one, I think. Yeah. Code. Am I covering this? Yeah. Can't show you because it's on an online register sort of thing. So I'm not showing you it. Sorry. Now let's start off with the figs. We have the yeoman zombie. Don't know what a yeoman is, but he is a zombie and he is on board the Queen Anne's Revenge on Blackbeard's Command. It's pretty cool. Back printing. He also has a regular. Neutral face. I like using the scared face. Yeah, nice back printing there. I like his um, front printings too. He has like all this stuff on him. He looks very professional trained. So I like I like that one. Yeah, Jack. Stump the pistol. Thick up his hair. Angry face. I mean, scared face. Yep, there's Jack. Then there's this guy. I think this is the gunner zombie. Does not have another face on there, but he does, you can see that, have little tiny back printing. Some kind of tattoo or something. So he does. There's a sash. And he has a nice forward printing. As you can see the tattoos that match the back of his face. It's very hard to see. Tattoos, and he has a little eye patch right there. We'll start with the globe. It cannot, which I was very disappointed at when I was trying to put it together with other stuff, stick onto your regular Lego pieces because there is no stud pieces on the bottom. Found this, but I found this globe very likable though. If you know what it, the Sandy, you know Sandy from the SpongeBob set? It's basically how you make her. You take the two things, they have the holes, as you can see that, and you just stick them on here and click it. Here's that. Here's just a table, fire, and then you also have the map to the Fountain of Youth, which again, we get in the Fountain of Youth, and a cup. And here, we have the, uh, we have the actual place where they have inside the eh, eh, bleh, sorry inside the Queen Anne's Revenge where they have the ships in the bottle. Nice skeleton piece. Really love this. You get this in Ninjago, like Armadon's weapons. You definitely get that, which is really cool. Really love that piece. You really gotta love that piece. Um, and then my favorite of this set. Can, See that print on there? Ship in a bottle. Really nice. How they, they, it's the same thing as like a rum bottle, but instead they have a printed little ship on it. Which I like very much. And this can hold them. Slip it right in. Good. I like how they use, I like how they use the work of the telescope piece. Right there. Very cool set. Just the regular platform at the bottom. Skeleton head, which you get a lot of skeleton stuff in the pirates, especially the cannibals escape, which I might be reviewing next. And well, here we are. We have the captain's cabin. Whoa, that wasn't good. All right, well, thank you for tuning in on Lego Channel 101. I'll 100. I don't keep saying 101. I have no idea. Okay, well. See you next time. Bye.